Stone Age Granny. Pepper and George are spending the day with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny! <laughs> Where's Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig is wearing a pretend beard. Today I am a caveman. Ooh. Granny and her friends are pretending to be in the Stone Age. What's the Stone Age? Well, it was a long, long time ago. When people lived in caves, ate berries, and chased big hairy elephants called mammoths. Can we be Stone Age too? Of course you can. I've made you both costumes. Look, George, we're in the Stone Age. <laughs> Come and see what we're doing in the garden. Here are Granny Wolf, Granny Dog and Madame Gazelle. Look, everyone, here are Stone Age Pepper and George. Hello. We are digging a cave with our stone tools. Why don't you have buckets and spades? Stone Age people didn't have buckets and spades. You see, today we are living exactly as people did in the Stone Age. Tea time for thirsty Stone Age people. Oh, lovely. Do Stone Age people drink tea? Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure if they could have had tea, they would have had tea. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, all this digging has made me rather hungry. Me too! Let's gather berries! Yes, berries! Mmm, strawberries! <laughs> ah, you're eating all my precious strawberries. But that's what Stone Age people did. Well, can't you do some other Stone Agey thing instead? I suppose we could chase woolly mammoths. Good idea. But there aren't any woolly mammoths now. Grandpa Pig can be a woolly mammoth. Yes. yes! Oh, all right. If it keeps you away from my strawberries. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. You run and we will chase you. OK. Ho-ho! <laughs> I'm a woolly mammoth. <sighs> Coming to get you! <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me! Yes, we will! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got you! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pepper and George! Now we carry the mammoth back to our cave! Yes! yes. Lift! Oh, the mammoth is a bit too heavy to carry! Actually, Grandpa Pig, would you mind walking? Who? Oh. Very well. <laughs> the Stone Age people have arrived back at their cave. Hmm. It's going to take ages to dig a cave with little bits of stone. I have an idea. Where's my telephone? Granny, did Stone Age people have telephones? Uh, no. But if they could have had telephones, they would have had telephones. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bull speaking. Hello, Mr. Bull. Could you come and dig a big cave for us, please? I'll be right there. Marvellous. Thank you. Stand back, everybody! Mr. Bull has arrived with his digger. Granny, did Stone Age people have diggers? No. But I'm sure if they could have had diggers... They, they would, would have, have had, had diggers. diggers. There you are! Now we can decorate our cave with paintings. Just like Stone Age people did. I'm painting us chasing a woolly mammoth. I'm painting Granny with a cup of tea on the telephone and Mr Bull with a digger. Oh, exactly how it was in the Stone Age. <laughs> 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 Ship holiday. <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are going on holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Will you be okay without Pepper and George for a short while? <laughs> yes, I think we'll manage. Bye bye, Goldie. I will miss you. Have a lovely holiday. And don't forget to call us on the phone. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. 
we going, Granny? We're going on a cruise. Ooh, what is a cruise? It's a holiday on a big boat. Like your boat, Grandpa. Yes, but a bit bigger. The cruise ship should be here somewhere. It's there, Grandpa! I say, what a big boat. The cruise ship is a very big boat. All aboard! Welcome aboard the sunny ocean, our solar-powered cruise ship. Unbelievable. May I see your tickets? Thank you. I am Captain Otter. Enjoy your holiday. Please follow me to your cabin. A cabin is a bedroom on a ship. Ooh, a big bed, little bed, television. How civilised. And we can see the sea. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, it's so nice to get away from everything. Grandpa Pig! Oh, <laughs> fancy seeing you here. It is Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Yes, what luck. Pepper and George, maybe it's time we explored the ship. OK, then. Au revoir. Toodle, Pip. <laughs> Pepper and George are exploring the cruise ship. I wonder what we will find. <laughs> George has found a paddling pool. <laughs> you can't paddle now, George. We are exploring. Oh. I can stay here with George. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> Which way now, Grandpa? Let's just keep walking. I say, a jungle cafe, a video game room, a cinema. <gasps> and a lift. This boat has everything. Hooray! Soft play. <laughs> Peppa loves soft play. Whee! <laughs> Hello, I'm Rohan Rhino. I'm Peppa Pig. Have you ever been on a big boat before? I've never been on a boat this big. Peppa, I think we should be getting back now. OK, Grandpa. Tomorrow. We will just go back the way we came. Oh. Bookshop. Space cafe. This is not the way. I wonder where Pepper and Grandpa Pig have got to. <coughs> Come on, George. <coughs> Let's wait for them back at the cabin. Excuse me. Which way to the paddling pool, please? Just through that door. Thank you. No, this looks different. I think we're lost. Can I help you? Ah, uh, Captain Otter. This paddling pool is wrong. We have ten paddling pools on the ship. I see. Maybe we should just go back to our cabin. Of course. Your ticket will show you the way. Every ticket has a colour, a shape and a number. Blue, triangle, six. That's right. Just follow the arrows. Blue, this way, Grandma. Grandpa Pig, wherever have you been? We got a bit lost. But clever Peppa found the way back again. Have some pizza. It was delivered to our cabin. Pizza, pizza! How civilised. I love this cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Everybody loves a cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Tropical day trip. Pepper and George are on a cruise ship holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Wake up, George! <laughs> there are lots of things to do on this boat. Well, actually, Pepper, we will be getting off the boat today. Is it the end of the holiday? No. <laughs> We're a long, long way from home. We thought it would be nice to get off and have a look around. Step this way for the Tropical Island Day Trip. Going in a little boat, Granny. The big boat is too big to stop at a tropical island. This is a tropical island. Welcome to our island. Oh, how wonderful. This is rather pleasant. Thank you very much. 
This is the Tropical Island Marketplace. Can we buy something, Granny? I don't see why not. Grandpa Pig has found a colourful shirt. This looks rather fun. Granny Pig has found a tropical gnome. And this would look lovely in our garden. <gasps> Grandpa, can I have this dancing dolly, please? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> George wants that little guitar. This is actually a ukulele. It's a very calming musical instrument when played correctly. Ukulele! <laughs> yes, please, we'll take it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Rohan. I got a little wooden box with holes in it. Oh. It's a present for my pet beetle, Bernard. <gasps> I need to get a present for Goldie, my pet fish. What does Goldie like? She likes swimming around and going like this. Maybe Goldie would like a cuddly whale. Yes. <coughs> Can we get this for Goldie the fish? That's a kind thought, Peppa. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Doing a bit of tourist shopping, are we? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, so are we. Can't resist. I think we have to go and make a phone call now. I need to speak to Goldie. Toodle pip. Bye. Here is the Tropical Island Telephone. I wonder what everyone on the other side of the world is doing now. Hello? Who is this? It's me, Daddy! I'm on holiday, remember? Oh, Peppa, how's the holiday? It is very nice. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Peppa, for you. Hello, Goldie! I am on a big boat with a pirate and a mermaid and we saw a whale. And do you remember me? <laughs> Are you all enjoying yourselves? Yes, Mummy. Here is George. George, hello. What's the best thing about your holiday? Potato. Potato? Potato? <laughs> Pepper and George are going back to the cruise ship. Well, I think you will all agree. That was splendid. Yes, Granny Pig. Nothing else we do today could top that experience. Except for a ride on Potato, of course. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you today? Mr Fox, <coughs> what are you doing here? I've got a shop. There are a lot of people on board this ship who need things. Like an egg on a stick, a top hat, or a pirate beard. Oh, that's just what I was looking for. See what I mean? We built some things too. So I see. Well, if you need anything else, come to me. I know what I need. Some food. Who else is hungry? Me! Yeah. Yeah. And me! Pepper and George are eating dinner on the deck of the cruise ship. Pigetti! <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, the holiday cruise ship will take Pepper and George home. Pepper and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. <laughs> Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Peppa. What do you mean? It's just a nice quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Peppa, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Peppa. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad.
Dad, it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat. It's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes, because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Peppa, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a muscle cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable sug. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a muscle cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish? Uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish, and for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandpa Big! Blow out the candles, Grandpa! <gasps> Hooray! Birthday party music, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is such fun. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> the time capsule. Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Today, we are going to make a time capsule. What's a time capsule? A time capsule is something that will show people in the future how we lived. How? We'll put special things in this box and then we'll bury it in the school garden. Will it grow? <laughs> <laughs> no, Susie. It will remain in the ground for many years. Ooh. Now, what things should we put inside? A comic. Very good, Pepper. <laughs> Music. Very good, Susie. A toy. Nay. A coin. Stamps. Squeak. A carrot. <laughs> oh, you do like carrots, don't you, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All those are excellent things to show our daily lives. Madam Gazelle, what will the future be like? What do you think it will be like? I think in the future, I will live on the moon. <laughs> and all my friends will come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will fly a space rocket. Hello. <laughs> Now we'll record a message for the people of the future. Say hello to the future. Hello to the future. You're probably all living on the moon now. 
and going on holiday to Mars. And flying around in space rockets. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. It is nearly home time and all the parents have arrived. Mummy, Daddy, we've made a time capsule. Ah, Daddy Pig, you're just in time to help us dig a hole. Yes, of course. Daddy Pig is digging a hole in the school garden for the time capsule. There. Can we dig it up now? Oh, it will remain in the ground for many years. Oh, but I can't wait that long. Peppa, you are just like your daddy when he was little. Am I? Yes, I remember when I was his teacher. Did you teach my daddy? Yes, I taught all of your mummies and daddies. Didn't I? Yes, yes my mademoiselle. <laughs> when your mummies and daddies were little, they made a time capsule too. Yes, we did. We buried it next to a little tree. Can we dig it up? Yes. I think we buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree. Oh, it was a long time ago. The tree has grown a bit since then. <laughs> <laughs> I found something. It's our old time capsule. Hooray! I can't wait to open it. <laughs> Stand back, children. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What do we have here? Oh, an old comic. That was my favourite comic. A tin toy? My favourite toy. Music. My favourite record. And a very old carrot. That's mine. What a good choice, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> in the videotape of your mummies and daddies when they were little. Ooh! <laughs> Who's the little piggy in the glasses? Oh, that's Daddy Pig. Oh, and that's me. Hello to the future. <laughs> what a squeaky voice you have. <laughs> You're probably living on the moon now. <laughs> Silly little Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Making time capsules is such fun. And finding them is even better. 